Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna use extremely budget barbarian kit and we're gonna go in the lobbies with 300 above plus. We're gonna throw a bunch of shit just so we will be able to be in the 300 plus. But the main kit is going to be so fucking bad. Actually, this piece is too good, but we'll change it. We'll change it. We'll make sure that we're using the biggest pile of dog it really doesn't do, and we'll make sure that we have bunch of gear that doesn't really suitable for a fight but we're gonna go in the 300 plus lobbies and we will try to hunt players down anyway that's basically the goal and the idea for today's video to hunt extremely geared best out players while using the extremely badass broken and full of damage build pretty much the combination is going to be very simple it's going to be the full on physical damage and you know damage so we're gonna get 15 percent that would come from 200 and the savage we're also gonna get axe specialization which will increase the power of our felon axe by five which is fucking insane bro i'm telling you it's really fucking good like you know it's like, listen to me listen to me listen trust me trust me trust me bro it's like you know the source trust me bro this is really fucking good i'm not gonna you know i'm not even capping so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the game we're gonna um, clap some cheeks we, we maybe will do some upgrades currently the stuff that i'm running is absolute dog shit maybe not not sure but um trust me i've tested this build and um we basically gonna hop in the game once we already have enough francesca access and um yeah we're just gonna go and try hunt the most geared players um ever we're not gonna go for fucking you know cheap meal for like you know little teamies <laughs> we we're only gonna hunt the most geared players and basically yeah I, I fucking been ranting about this for like fucking five minutes straight i'm sorry so yeah anyway i'm gonna go and throw a little kit here so for anyone curious i'm gonna be running extreme dog shit it's like fucking 500 gold kit or something whatever the fuck i found in the um like uh in a garbage can you know stuff that you wouldn't even hold in your stash or inventory you know what i mean some extreme dog shit so basically yeah anyway we're gonna hop in the game and we're gonna slap some chicks now pre thing, the thing is the golden caves isn't out for an extra minute so that's the perfect opportunity and time for me to build up by the way we got three more gold coin bags thanks to yami yami you're absolute legend i appreciate you a lot brother and uh yeah he is the absolute g and he kept his word absolute legend love this guy best fucking streamer ever fucking awesome <laughs> anyway let's hop in the game oh look we have this guy has a savage he has a felon accent savage yo bro this guy does this exact same oh what are you doing yo he has the gold felon axe he has savage roar and rage oh a scary scary guy scary guy he is slow though so we gotta take off his fucking it's gonna be my felon axe <laughs> we gotta take him off of him there's one thing i'm kind of surprised is like how little stats does the um, golden item actually offer you it's actually kind of so little it's fucking kind of sad but also i'm not even sure why did he even end up in this lobby to begin with like what was his goal or plan on mine because fucking i brought wait a three barbs three barb lobbies three barb lobbies three barb lobbies wow that's actually sick that's actually sick the rage plus achilles we the, okay this guy we will be able to just you know fucking fuck around it's like face to face you know fucking i did barely do any fucking damage though but it's fucking who, who needs to do any damage but the thing is that we got three players that's actually pretty sick oh what about this guy a golden cloak with one two three four five trolls b blood a mystical gem grim smile ring the most insane biz that i have fucking seen Three true necklace of peace, rapier, loose trousers, lightfoot boots. Wow, this kid, I don't even know how much it costs, bro. If we get to kill this guy, bro, that's gonna be fucking ridiculous. He also have the mystical gem, which is insane. Killing that guy would be our main priority, but he's gonna play like a fucking pussy ass rat for sure. So we do need to be very careful though. This is gonna be like a game of the day. If we will be able to, you know, get the W, maybe get this ranger, that would be really sick. The chances, though, that this ranger will fucking cock us, you know, it's pretty high, it's pretty high. So, you know, gotta be real careful, gotta be real careful. The problem is, if the ranger will land one hit, that's GG, that's Jaja. Oh, shit, I just realized I don't have the potion chugger. Okay, well, my build this time around isn't about the potion chugger. Mm, ow, 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 ow. 
All right, well, there is really ain't that much to do, so let's just go to the mid room and try and find someone out. You know what I mean? Let's see who do we have here. Okay, we actually. Yo, yo, hold on a minute. Something I right? We have this ranger here. Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, this might be the way. This might be the way. Listen. Oh shit, he put a trap down. So you probably didn't hear that I killed the mob. Wow, action incredible. Let's try and sit here for quite a bit, and maybe we'll get a chance to get him. He's coming here. He doesn't know. Oh my god, brother. What just happened? What just happened? Are you fucking kidding me? No fucking way, bro. That doesn't make any sense. What the hell? He just walked into the room where I killed him up without giving any fucks? <laughs> what? Listen, this kill does not make any fucking sense. I don't understand what the fuck is this shit. Like, bro, what? Look at this cave fucking too true. I gotta switch, I guess, all the rings. I got necklace of peace with fucking tree. God. What the hell? Bro, are you fucking serious? No, 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 no. It has to be a joke, bro. This has to be a joke. Cause I thought it's gonna be some extremely tough fight, and uh, I wouldn't even be able to kill anyone. You know, I would probably end up dying. That's what would happen when you fight a big ranger. You know, most of the time. But uh, just got a, such a free kill. It just doesn't even feel right, bro. Like, so for anyone who says that barbarian isn't broken, so what just happened? I brought in. Like a 300 gold kit that fucking costs absolutely nothing that uh, you can craft in literally one game. I already shown examples, literally my previous video. And I killed the guy who cost like fucking 30k gold or think. God, I don't even know how much he go he's set gonna go for. Maybe like half a chest or something. Maybe that's too expensive though. But um, oh god, that's really some expensive stuff here. Also he got a mystical gem. That mystical gem would be able to get me like six kits like this. Like the one that, um you know, I brought in. So pretty much I would simply be be able to fucking sell that mystical gem and buy another six kits you know i'm not even sure what am i supposed to do with this kit because i feel like that's just too much no don't you think look at that shit dex move speed physical mm, true debuff regular mm, riveted gloves true okay so i'm just gonna wait up actually here the fucking ribosol cup is actually trash holy fuck but anyway 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 so i'm just gonna wait for static i'm not gonna go for any pvp because this gear set will be able to um, pay off for like fucking another couple of videos easily straight up just one set would be uh, you know probably like 20 30 k gold usually i spend from 2000 to like 20,000 per video some videos are like you know just they, they don't even possible because if let's say i record for an hour and then i die to a cheater and then the very next game i die to a landmine and then i die to another cheater like today i died four times and three times i died to exact same cheater fuck even though i report him it would take at least a day to you know to get him banned so it's like um oh well the guy who killed me though, like, was a very known stream sniper, ESP -er, piece of shit. Maybe you know him. And um, it, it was some form of, uh, some lost light or some garbage, some, anyway. But, like, a lot of people fucking want to try to get him banned. I think this guy already got banned once, but, um, he somehow fucking either made another account or maybe he got temporary banned or something. I don't know. But I do think that the Lost Light guy got already banned and fucking he hunted me four times or three times today. Uh, it was fucking horrible. It's like I have like uh, half a folder of footage that was supposed to be become a video, but I kept dying to cheaters. So fucking I had to reset and I don't want to feed you videos. Well, I mean, I could make content out of it, but um, I was trying to make something, something interesting. You don't know what I mean? Like trying to connect um narrative like you know have a combination of games little pre-story a little you know progression something that actually would be interesting to watch but i end up dying to cheater and i fucking hate this it's like cheaters suck you guys fucking trash like there's no point to cheat there's just, you don't gain from anything from cheat but uh i mean maybe you do but like fucking if you cheat listen you're a piece of trash and you have no future like um also the people that i know who are cheating if you ever talk to them, they're like, 
how would I explain? They're kind of weird in a way. Not in a weird, but like they kind of like drug addicts. You know what I mean? They're like the different. They look at you know progression different. They look at the fights different. It's like you know the cheaters are actually it's like a form of mental sickness. Honestly, like I'm actually not necessarily traumatized or stressed out, but like there is one guy you know no skill bro. Recently he got banned. I figure out that um, he got banned for actually cheating because um, I knew the guy. I knew the guy legit like five vibes ago, like fucking we sit in the same lobby with other people who were grinding the top one because I was used to grinding the leaderboards, you know, the top first spots for solo. And uh, basically that guy was there. At the time I had a really horrible internet connection. I was dying fucking every other game. And that guy was, you know, he was like chill. Like he was using fucking um, some betrayal tricks here and there. So it's like, I looked at it, I thought it was kind of funny. So, you know, I didn't try to fucking make, you know, overly competitive, like, gameplay or something. So I thought maybe for the, um, gameplay, maybe for, like, some for content, it's not a bad thing. So, yeah. And basically, this guy just recently got banned, and he was streaming, he has got, like, 1200 subs or something. Like, bro, why would you fucking cheat? Like, you know, you already got it covered, you're already a known fucking person. Like, why would you fucking shit? I don't know, man. It's like, same thing with Dutch. Like, you know, I knew him. Like, you know, he was a fucking um, weird, but, like, little, you know, very energetic kid, I would say, you know. But I would never think that he would fucking cheat, and he did. But uh, speaking of a dodge, I mean, it's whatever. The guy just blatantly cheats right now, so who gives a shit? Oh, we actually have a way out. Let's get out of here, and let's go next game. Yeah, sorry for fucking so much chit-chat without any action. Let me know if, um, you know, you want to see more actions, because I just want to, like, you know, have a personal conversation with you, my friend. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is what we got. We got... Loose Shrouders, who's one old one, has five physical power, right? Right. So we got Adventure Tunic, one old three decks, not bad. We got um, Riveted Gloves, two true, not bad. We got Recurve Bow, it's very good. Rapier, very good. Lantern, absolutely insane. Necklace of Peace, decent. Ring of Quickness, oh god, I don't even know how much it's gonna go for. Golden Cloak, ridiculous. Lightfoot Boots, Lord have mercy, you know what I mean? And also the green smile with true and armor and magic resistance. Oh god. And this is what we went with. <laughs> like fucking with nothing. The power of barbarian, you know what I mean? It's like no other class will you be able to perform such an execution. If that if I would be as a rogue, um like the guy the ranger probably would be able to shred me down like absolutely in in a matter of seconds. And also I would be terrified of every single barb. But because you're not scared of other barbs and you're not scared of rogues, like, this class becomes actual fucking, you know, hardcore, hardcore OP. And also, since our prime goal is to ambush people, we don't even need that much meds. We don't even need that much. Just need a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Really, just a little, all you need is straight up. Okay, I need boots because I threw mine. I threw, I had adventure boots that did absolutely fucking nothing. They were extremely cheap, so I just through whatever the fuck I had. Nice. Actually, this kid actually becoming pretty fucking dangerous. 314 move speed is actually a lot. 6% action speed, actually a lot. Bandages, meds, all this cheese, actually... And it's, like, most importantly, why it makes this build so fucking OP, because the move speed is only fucking minus 35. The Schweihander, for example, 45. Wormhole, 50. Like, so the Pelon Axe barely slows you down, which is really good. So yeah, anyway. Ah, man, the Goblin Caves are not ready. Oh, well. A few inches later. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. This is the exact same kid. Yo, 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 yo. This guy already killed me. I was playing with the red lizard skin. And basically he fucked me up. Didn't give me even a single chance. He was a very fucking good shot. This guy's nickname is GBL something. I forgot exactly what, but it was GB something. Well, anyway, maybe we'll get a chance to fucking get some revenge this time around, though. That'd be nice. Because <laughs> when he killed me, my kid was like maybe 800 gold. But if I kill him, that's probably going to be like a 10,000 gold, you know what I mean? <laughs> when I see people, I literally see the gold fucking bounty above their head. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they are. I just see the gold <laughs> and I go full in. All right, we're in. Well... Like usual, let's go middle room. 
basically that's where all the action is a lot of players really well not players i don't consider rangers as players <laughs> they're not players they're animals they do come to this fucking room and basically yeah and um let's clear up some mobs around here make a little pass so that we'd be able to um, rotate around and we'll see basically the best bet would be to get someone off guard and probably um, this is one of the places that i like i like to jump here on chest and um hunt people down basically usually we're gonna have one player that will come from the prison and go all the way here so yeah you should try this tech out probably after this video a lot more people will realize how to abuse the fuck out of shadows because <laughs> i actually found a lot of really insane spots but the thing is you can never track every single one of them you can track majority of them but not every single one of them you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna show you another extremely dirty fucking spot later down the video and we'll try to get some kills basically that spot would be very connected to the troll and basically everyone who will try to kill the troll and use the static you will be able to catch them off guard right on their way and they literally wouldn't be able to get away from you because it just they will literally stumble upon you and you will be able to land three hits and gain an insane advantage pretty much imagine no matter what gear you have the first hit will literally make you an equivalent of fucking 80 health versus whatever the fuck barb you are like even if you bring 130 gold kit i mean 130 health kit was like literally nothing oh should we actually some here you will be able to land that first hit and fucking almost eliminate them you know how op this is that's why i fucking consider barbs to be extremely fucking broken by the way what the fuck is going on there Le ranger is fighting a barb sound like that ranger killed the barb did he? Did he step in a trap? Oh god, this is fucking terrifying. I'm gonna wait on this chest for a few more minutes. And then we'll see. Because I don't stand a single chance against that ranger when it comes to a fight. But if he chose to open this door and walk inside the room, well, there is nothing that will stop me from killing him. He will be just dead and there is absolutely nothing he will be able to do about it. Even if you would have fucking 10 traps on the way, I have fucking 12 Francesca axes and I would feed them deep inside his beautiful ass. Basically, that's what I'm gonna do one way or another. So, basically, we're just looking for an opportunity. Listen, hear me out. I don't mind to go and have a fair fight. I do that. But also, I don't mind to rat. Like, ratting also takes fucking some time. And, um, you know, it's like... The thing is, when I rat people... I get the weird feeling of a hard bit. Like when I just WQ people, I don't. But when I rat, when I play like a rat, I have a little weird feeling that I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like very weird. It's really fucking weird. And uh, basically when someone stumbles across me when I'm riding, my heart starts to race really fast and I stop and I start playing like a very low elo player. Because if I fucking lose control of myself, you know what I mean? So basically, if you have the same thing, you should probably try and, uh, you know, rat more. It will help you with, um, you know, this anxious feeling or whatever. If I call it rat, I'm not even sure. But basically, when I do rat, I get this weird feeling. I never get it when I fucking fight. You know, it's, it's weird. Mm, maybe just like, because I'm running out of patience. And then when someone stumbles upon me, it just makes me super happy, you know what I mean? But listen, hear me out. You can W key all you want, or you can wait for people to fucking farm the whole lobby, and you just kill them. Now look at me. I have absolutely fucking nothing. Look at my stats. Fucking nothing. 146 hell, hell skit. My whole gear set is nothing. Basically, I will inflict pain on the ranger whether or not i kill him when he chose to loot me well if he kills me and try he tries to loot me he will find nothing you know that will make him upset but if i kill him as well he's gonna be upset as well because i killed him 
But once he realized that I also have absolutely nothing, he's going to be the double upset. So, you know, we are like kind of hit um, two rabbits with one fucking shot. You know what I mean? If I got it right. <laughs> In game, of course. <laughs> Ooh, look what we have here. <laughs> oh, no, I already feel bad for this guy. Like, what he's supposed to do, bro? He's just dead. And what about this guy? He's also dead. Because I hit for fucking 120 damage per headshot. Oh no. Oh no, what have I fucking done? He saw that barb. He got a little fucking... He got his dick card. He was ready to go and clap this barb. But, um, well... Listen, I'm not scared of barbs. When you have a felon axe, you're not scared of barbs. You never are. Just go and fuck them, you know, really nice. Yeah, and then you just take their stuff. Now, that's actually the beauty of the Felon Axe, because with the Joy Hunter, you can lose to a barb with the Felon Axe, because, like, it takes a lot less effort for a Felon Axe to beat a Joy Hunter than for a Joy Hunter to beat a Felon Axe, you know what I mean? But it also takes absolutely no effort to beat fucking Rangers. <laughs> Like, it's so fucking silly, but, um, bro, the, the, I mean, not the Schweihander, but, like, the Fallen Axe is so fucking brutal, especially if you get to be able to get people off guard. Now, look at this shit. I brought nothing, you know, keep an eye, I brought nothing. I even have the headpiece open for case if I got to kill, you know, if I got a kill on someone, so we'd be able to equip that piece you know what i mean so it get extra space like i come to the right extra prepared to make sure that i have extra space for all the extra cheese i'm gonna be able to carry out also i don't bring the chest piece so we'll be able to equip whoever the cheese the guy has and i would also be able to have extra stuff physical healing max health fuck that let's take the record all right guys it was a good game let's go next one you know what i mean let's go next one Okay, so we hunted another guy and basically, oh god, bro, starting to run out of space, honestly. Oh, fuck. This is what we got. Shout out to Yami for providing me the gold coin bags, big G. I love this guy. He's he's really wholesome guy. Oh god, bro, we got we gained way too much. We gained like one kit, already paid off. I don't know, man. It's fucking. We I think we already made maybe fifty thousand gold. It was very little time though, because we go in and out really fast. You know, we don't stop, we don't hesitate, we just fucking continuously going in the game. I made my gear set a little weaker. It was just way too much, too much damage. Like. The previously build that I used just was not giving people even a single chance. Because uh, I was hitting for 134 while having nothing. Now we actually barely do any fucking damage, 100 fucking damage. Fucking that's trash. <laughs> no, no, but really, just like, I just threw whatever the trash that um, I'd like to get rid of to fucking save up some space. Honestly. If we die, it's gonna be a fucking blessing, I'm telling you. Because it's fuck, man. I'm not sure what to do with all that stuff. I don't really give the stuff away, like, I like to sell it. <laughs> Nor do I really stream to give it away, you know what I mean? So, yeah, hopefully we'd get some players, actually. But yeah, the current build is a little different. Now I have a Savage, and I don't have Rage, which isn't really as good for the, you know, prime idea to hunt players down. If you want to really hunt, go for full damage. This build that I'm currently running, it's literally to fucking nerf my capabilities. Basically, in a fight like this, Whoever misses a hit will lose the fight instantly. The stats doesn't even matter. Just, um... Okay, we actually have two people here. The guy running the long sword. Oh, shit, look at him. The Grim Smile Ring was a bunch of true. Wow. Also, he has recurve, recurve bow. I hope he's not a cheater. Three decks, five additional. Oh, God. Alright, so I already tracked the ranger down. He is camping the trolls from... He, I fucking heard him put, like, five traps down. Maybe not five, maybe one. But anyway, it really feels like he's literally just fucking sitting there and aggravating the fucking mob. Like he is, you know, it's like the mob 
doesn't feel uncomfortable in fucking making weird screaming noises. He may have heard that I turned the light off, but it's not that big of a deal. But um, I genuinely think that um, this ranger literally sitting behind the fucking... The ranger right there below the fucking um, gate. That's the only reason why the map... Or it's either he, the ranger is either below or he's, he's sitting right here on the fucking little bridge. Or maybe he's on the way, elevator, but if he is, but, um, you know, the mob wouldn't be that aggravated. He would just be fucking search shooting at him. The reason the mob is mad is because he fucking tracks that ranger, but, um, he can't reach him. I could actually go and try and fight them, but the thing is, um, you cannot keep the, uh, track of all the traps he put there. He could put them anywhere, and, uh... The ranger just simply gonna run with 330 move speed and fuck you up. Mm, I'm gonna sit here for next couple minutes, but um, I don't think he's gonna come here directly. It's likely he's going to come to the shrine and um, to, to the static. So we just gotta figure out where the circle is gonna be and we're gonna move on from there. Alright, so I turned the light off here. And that basically would be my best bet where I should camp, literally right here in the middle. Pretty much, when you stand sit still here, you can even fucking sit here with the wormhole. It doesn't matter, people will not be able to see you. But if you want to make sure that people can really see you, one, make sure you don't have a fucking butts on, and two, check your legs. You should not be able to see your legs. If you can't see your legs in the dark, it means, well, fucking nobody can, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Oh shit, we have someone here. Yo, let's go. Okay, so that's the fighter. I don't want to fuck with the fighter. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Fighter's getting fucked. He doesn't know I'm here. Ranger doesn't know either. Goodbye, my love. GG, brother. You came to the wrong place. Alright, it's time to kill the fighter. Mmm... It's gonna be pretty hard to kill him. It's very easy to parry Fallon Axe. Very easy. With a long sword. Don't you fucking dare take my fucking cheese, you piece of shit. Okay, gotta be a little careful though. He could stat at me. My gear is absolute trash. I literally don't fucking do any damage. Fuck. If I'd have a previous kit, he would be dead already. He would be already fucking infinity like Camellia. But um, I decided to downgrade my kit a little bit. Make it fucking cheaper than it was. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm kidding. I just fucking want to get rid of stuff, that's all. Goodbye, brother. Good fight. Oh, interesting. I think I already met this guy right before. Probably like three times already. Good fight, brother. I'm sorry for what I had to do to you. You know, it's like for the content. <laughs> Not that I want to take all your good stuff, you know what I mean? Wow. This guy is really fucking impressive. Holy shit, this kid is like... I don't know how much is it even worse, bro. Like, I think it's fucking real expensive. Let's see this guy. Maybe this piece is okay. Maybe the recurve bow is also okay. Maybe the survival bow I think is more expensive, honestly. And he has uh, Francesca axes, which is really nice. Rings are not, not it, not it. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. I already killed this guy three times, and every time I kill him, he brings like fucking the best piece in the game, like absolutely the best. I'm not sure how he the fuck he playing this game like that, but uh, his stuff is ridiculously fucking good, like holy cow. Wow, another geared ranger, bro. Every fucking game there is a geared ranger in 300 plus lobbies. What are you guys fucking doing? I literally barely bring anything. So, yeah, for anyone who wanted to fucking see how I would abuse the fuck out of 300 plus lobbies, that's basically how you should do it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not playing like a rat. This is exactly the way you should be playing in the 300 plus lobbies. 
everyone is extremely geared everyone abusing the fuck out of the um, 300 plus everyone is using extreme biz and this is the exactly the way that uh, you should be playing yes i mean i'm gonna advocate for this play style because you know don't think of this oh hey you're writing yeah sure so what like uh is it effective yes what are my chances to win the fight against a ranger who's gonna three shot me and he, he doesn't even need to hit me once he will three shot me you know what i mean so yeah the best bet would be to rat the fuck out of rangers like imagine think of a barb more as rat class rather than as a fighting class while i can't fight everyone in the fairground i already proved it and showed it million of times but um look at the barb from a perspective of being a better version of rope so much better that there is literally bro i circled the whole fucking map five times over literally i went to every single fucking corner there's no one fucking let's go check troll i guess like whoever was here should have already come out because this fucking biggest bullshit or that person fucking went and he was like looting like or fighting someone who's in the cyclops room one way or another this shit doesn't make any sense the guy been fucking trying to kill the troll for way too long okay so we have torches here interesting oh okay well here we have a fucking reason <laughs> what happened to that guy let's actually see oh man fucking it's gonna pain the ass to actually loot that okay ah that's fine Gotta figure out how am I supposed to do without dying. The troll could fuck me though. Okay. Couple more pieces, not bad. Mm, it's actually pain the ass. Oh god. Oh shit, barely. Holy fuck. Okay, he did this side side attack. Okay, he finished. One more piece, please. Okay. Two more pieces left. Oh no, don't hit me. Ah, it's fine. Let's drop everything else here as well. And then we'll come back for more. Alright, we're almost done there. One more ring, one more ring. Bitch. No, no, I'm gonna get the ring no matter... If I'll, I'm gonna try to die, but I'm gonna take the ring. Piece of shit, holy cow. Spear. I need that spear. I'm taking the spear. Nothing will stop me from taking the spear. Okay, I'm good. Alright, job is done. Let's get out of here. Phew. Man, the amount of stuff we got today is fucking ridiculous. Like, I think we're already at uh, 50k. Maybe even more than 50k. But, um, let's keep the title simple and let's call this video... We made 50,000 gold by writing players or something. We still need to figure out how should I fucking brand the video, you know what I mean? It was a good game though, it was a good game. We didn't die. We didn't kill anyone either, but fucking couldn't even find anyone. But we found the ranger who died to fucking troll somehow. I would assume it's uh, poor servers.